Uh, once again, we're taking a look at the box of many older Philips PL bulbs. This time, we'll take a look at the lone 9 watt. We've taken a look at the 13 watts, so we'll take a look at the 9 watt version. And uh, the box is in a kind of rough shape, but it's the same exact design as the others. So this one is 3500K, uh, more of a pure white color. We also took a look at the uh, 3500K of the 13 watt, and the 2700K of the uh, other 13 watt. Oh, look at that. The boxes are different sizes. We talked about this in the last one, uh, comparing the uh, 3500K to the 2700K. But let's take these out and just see the size difference. Now, naturally, a um, 13 watts going to be longer than a 9 watt. But as we saw, the 3500K one, which I'm assuming are slightly older because the etch is uh, slightly different, is shorter. I'll leave that box there. And there's the 9 watt. Now, of course, the, the 5, 7, and 9 watts all have a different base with a different key system here so that you can't put them in the, um, uh, interchange them in the fixtures. Of course, the ballasts for the 5, 7, and 9s usually can support all of them at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but can support all three versions. So, you can see that uh, it progressively gets shorter, even though these are both the same wattage. Now there's the 9 versus the 13, obviously that's shorter. So let's set those aside, we're not necessarily here for them. And we have the etch here, looks like 2C, that's what they melted into the plastic. Again, very nice Philips design, I really like this design. Much thicker tubes compared to the ones of today, of course with reduced mercury and all that kind of stuff. These, I'm sure, are full mercury content. So, let's bring in our adapter here. We'll plug it in. Turn off our video lights. Let's turn it on. Well, that didn't take long to fire up, now did it? Let's bring over our meter here. We'll hold it about a foot above the sensor. You can watch it warm up. Of course we have a little bit of flickering, pretty common with these brand new bulbs. Lights everything up pretty nicely though. Uh, very nice white color with the 3500K. Usually you see cool white, warm white, and daylight. Something in between is a little harder to find, at least in my experience. So this looks like, uh, I don't know, we're still kind of going up. Okay. Well, I don't know. It, it just keeps going. About 530. Oh, never mind. Sure. So, let's give it another whirl. Wow, that's a very quick to start. Definitely not a lot of uh, waiting around. Very cool. You can see the ends there. Again, fantastic design. Love it. One more time. Okay. Well, I really do hope you enjoyed this little video of this older Philips PL preheat fluorescent bulb. These are some of my favorites, these Philips. So very cool to come across more. Once again, I hope you enjoyed. And also please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.